You've probably heard the rumors about 3D. It's going to take over the world. <laughs> well, maybe not <clears throat> the world, but your living room. Within the next nine years, one market research firm projects the 3D TV market will grow by 300 times, meaning almost everybody may be watching sports, movies, and games on a TV that makes the images seem to leap off the screen. But can you do this? And can you do that? That would be cool with 3D. But before you leap and get a 3D TV, you should know more about it. Okay, before we talk about what 3D is, let's talk about what 3D isn't. New. That's right. It's been around since 1840 when Charles Wheatstone called 3D the stereoscope. Good name, because a 3D display on a 2D surface is basically stereo for your eyes. One left image, one right. In fact, 3D video and pictures are sometimes taken using left and right lenses, which are slightly offset. How offset? Exactly as offset as two average human eyes, about seven centimeters or four inches. One picture, two pictures. It's called stereopsis. The brain thinks it's looking at a 3D object because it's seeing two pictures from two different perspectives, the same two viewing angles as your eyes. It creates the illusion of depth. Right now, TV companies can't project those two pictures onto one screen at the same time without making them blurry, and it's too expensive to have one TV for each eye. Imagine how much this thing would cost you if you were, say, a fly. So they've come up with two main ways to trick your brain into seeing focused 3D pictures on one screen. The main Blu-ray format of 3D is called sequential, which takes a lot of bandwidth. Because remember, with 3D, there are two images, one for each eye, instead of one image for both eyes. That's a lot of information. DirecTV and others came up with a solution for over the air, and it uses only half of that information, only 24 frames per second, not 48. How? Well, the TV receives this 24 frame per second signal, it splits it into two frames, one for each eye, and doubles the length of each segment. Remember, they split the original in two. And then they display those sequentially for your shutter glasses. The upshot? The image from DirecTV is not as dense or rich as a Blu-ray image, but it has less bandwidth. And DirecTV customers don't need new hardware. Nanny nanny boo boo, know what I'm saying? Will you be able to see the difference? You're gonna have to watch a lot of 3D TV.